We are here with David Katz, artist uh, out of Westchester, Pennsylvania. We've been excited to have him in Junction, in the magazine, in some people's homes. And David, thanks for making time out of your, your busy season. I know you ran right over here from the gallery, so thanks for coming over. Well, it was either go to ShopRite, which Tuesday night is 5% off, or come here. Okay. Where, so here which, which, which ShopRite do you frequent? The one on Route 3. Okay, yeah, and that's that's a crustiest one, but um, it's it's but, hey. the most blue collar shop right now. I feel so at home there. I can't do Wegmans and um, what's that other one? Too though? bougie Whole Foods. The Whole Foods. Oh yeah, it's I like the vibe. You, you can't shop there. You're keeping it true to your roots. I know you had yes. a blue collar upbringing. Yes. The uh, son of Holocaust survivors, right? That moved yes. here in the '60s, right? And uh, a hardworking man himself, right? Yeah, my, yeah, that's all we did was work. Seven days a week, you have to work. That's, really? That's, no rest? No. Not at all? No, no, no time for... Well, they did, on Saturday night, all the Holocaust survivors would get together and they would play poker. That was poker night. That was Sabbath. That was Saturday night. Was there money on the line? Or? Oh, yeah, they okay. played for money. They, and wives, they, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, they, <laughs> yeah, they this, like, is, this could be our uh, PG-13 interview. Right. Oh, it's hey, it's going to go there. We, we, we've had stadium. kids on the show, oh. uh, politicians, pastors, that kind of thing. But David, so this is not are, Walt Disney rated. Now, this is on the internet, so oh, we, the internet. we all know what's out there, you know. But listen, um, yes. we, seriously, as an artist, we have been very blessed by your work. So it's, ha it's hanging behind us. Uh, Thank you. For we'll, put, we'll put some pictures up when this is live so people can see some of your work. And we really want to dive into your work as an artist and what, how'd you get there, which is an unconventional art origin story. Right. And what's going on behind the scenes when you're painting these beautiful pieces? All right. Okay. So, Thank you for having me. Uh, you, 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 very, very welcome. And let me just start out with uh, your back, something that, a place that's near and dear to my heart, which is Fairmount. Okay, right. Right? You yes. spent some time in Fairmount. Right. Right there's the art museum. Nate, we're looking at a piece. It's a little bit off screen here for, for you all. But uh, yeah, Fairmount in Philadelphia, otherwise known as the Art Museum Neighborhood, is is a great spot uh, uh other artists have called it home over the years it, it, right it's, right i was there before it was gentrified okay and it was really a fabulous neighborhood uh, like i came and gentrified it and probably ruined it you did i was that way you yeah. were the first bmw to park there uh alfa romeo okay alfa <laughs> romeo okay <laughs> <laughs> okay so, so wait we're talking fairmount or the I was tw 22nd in Mount Vernon. Oh, right. <laughs> Where were you? 20th in Spring Garden. Mark Vetri's there now. Yes. Was he there when you were there? Um, I think so. Okay. I, I, yeah. I worked at the, the mural arts program. That really? was a, Yeah, I, uh, that was headquartered at 17th in Mount Vernon. Right. It still is. Yeah, mm. they did a fabulous Talk job. Talk about our lot. Do you know how many artists are coming in and out of Fairmount? Probably more than any... It, <laughs> Neighborhood, maybe? It, right. It was an affordable neighborhood at the time. It was like uh, adjacent to Center City. So you could walk. You I, could I, walk. I used to beat the SEPTA bus to, to, to you know, downtown. Right, right. It, it was, it's a fabulous neighborhood. And how long did you live there? For? About 35 years. 35 years. Yes. And this is where you were working for your... Working. I your had... Your home care... I had a store. I started a store. Right. I, I had a store when I, I opened up a store right out of college. It was a health and beauty aid store, and I did that for 22 years. Temple grad. Temple grad. TV. Proud Temple grad. Undergrad, what did you study? Uh, marketing. So all you marketing people may still become an artist. Yes. Right? Could happen. Usually it goes the other way. The artist goes into marketing, but... I, right. But uh, I think Central High School was more... Pivotal than Temple University. That was the cream of the cream of high schools, and it was harder than uh, college. Central That's, was. Central, yes. Got it. And, and a lot of support for the arts? Uh, uh, um, 
Central was. We're uh, running transactions during the show, but I'm listen, buying I, five pounds. Listen, of while, pot. while David gets his card out, I don't do pot. I'm gonna. I just cook in it. I'm gonna. <laughs> it's well, it's probably legal for. It, it's partly legal, but uh, Pennsylvania Distilling Company is a, is a, a, a sponsor of today's show. Joe's here, oh Amoroso, God. a name that many in uh, in Philly will know. We should grab that bottle right yeah, there. Yeah, give us the bottle quick. I'll give you. So this is local small batch, and a number of us here in the crowd can testify. Very smooth, delicious uh, quality product, ranging from small batch bourbon whiskeys to gins to rum, a, a new uh, dark rum. And uh, and they were kind enough to come here for the uh, the listeners and give us a little tasting. So and they're you, out of Malvern. They're out of Malvern. Yeah, yeah which is Go not Malvern. far, not far at all. So okay, so back to Here's Fairmount. Okay, okay, so you're there. You got a shop. You're doing that. Yes. Um, and you know, all the while, talk to us about uh, your you know your sense of, of creativity and 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 how we that that groom the trail, so to speak, for uh, a career as an artist? Um, I, I think the creativity started, i um, born in Israel, and uh, the kindergarten teacher told my mother, put a pencil in his hand. Why? And, uh, because she saw that I drew a lot. Okay. Wow. So, so it's not like I'm, they tell every kid to put a pencil in their hand. Like right, they were like, it was, really with you. So you could say teachers are, are pivotal to your um, to your growth as a whatever line of work you want to get into or uh, um, uh, interests. Uh, but uh, running a business requires artistic uh, acumen also. So I was the first business in Philadelphia that started a complete discount. I was the very first one in Philadelphia where you just... I was the first one to contact wholesalers. I didn't go through, um, I, I went uh, through companies, not through wholesalers. So I would order 50 tons of Procter & Gamble product, wow. put them on a box, and then I would make the sign. That was my artistic. And uh, the trick to being successful in retail is to make the steps for the customer to walk right to your uh, product that you want to sell. And I sold them. I made a nickel instead of a dime. And I had a line at my store all day long. Get out of here. Yes. So you were successful. I was very successful. And you know, yes. Sue's a visual merchandiser and loves putting things in a way that you have to buy it. <laughs> well, I know what he's saying. I mean, it yeah. is an art form, how to arrange things and also to capture the attention of your audience right. in order for that to translate into sales. Right. It's, for me, it was something I just innately understood. Clearly, you as well. Right. Yes. You, um, and this is, my parents didn't have uh, um, this upbringing. They, it, we were never successful. We, did, we had butcher store, flower shops, gift card shops. We, we couldn't make a dime. We, we were in poverty, really? complete poverty. We had basically were paying the mortgage. That's about yeah. it. There was nothing. And then... I broke, uh, I broke out, and I don't know how it happened, but some miracles do happen. And all my parents' friends who are really mediocre business people, they, they would look in my store, and they couldn't believe it because I couldn't lock the store. It was that busy. I couldn't close at night. It was the first major discount store in Philadelphia. Wow. What was it called? Um, it was, I, I couldn't afford anything, so I used a sign that was there, and it was called Sunray. Okay. <laughs> I, you remember Sunray Drugs? <laughs> when you that. open up a store, you have zero money for anything. Signs are expensive. Yeah, signs are expensive, right. <laughs> so. No, I just love the picture. Is it on your website, or maybe it's in the video, but... You're standing there in the front. Yes. And I saw in the background exclamation perfume, and I thought, oh my word, I love him. I saw I that. I loved that when I was a kid. Oh my Did God. Did you really? Oh yeah, that was, that was it. Really? Exclamation. exclamation by Cody. Yes. The, the white with the black top. Yeah. So you were not a Charlie girl. Book. You were not a Charlie girl. No. Charlie. No. How about John Two? Jo I remember John, John Two. John Two. John too. It's a walk down memory lane. I didn't pick up yeah. on all that till Aqua de Geo. <laughs> oh. Well, that was fancy for that was good yeah. stuff. That was yes. some slick stuff. 
It's funny. Then came Jovan Musk Oil. Jovan Musk Oil. Oh, oh my God, did wow. we sell a ton of that? Did you really? And then, <laughs> and then Jean Tu came out with a little bottle of Jean Tu for one dollar. You couldn't keep, you just put it on the counter. People would just, they knew how to mark. Revlon was king mm. yeah. they, at that time. Okay, yeah. so let's talk about sex now. I mean, oh, no. <laughs> no, no, we're not, this is a X rated show. Uh, this is, you well, want to get your ratings up, you have look, to talk we, about We sex. have an X in our logo. Okay, um, right, but, Junction. Yeah, Junction. Just, Junction. Just, just one X. No, we're only kidding, ladies and gentlemen. There's no sex involved in this uh, talk. Okay, Actually, so, at all, because... Let's talk about how you stumbled onto your your art career. Okay. I mean, you were That's, walking dogs. Right. Oh, this your is your dog. Go on. Everything happens for a reason. Um, um, I lived in the art museum area, and I had a wonderful dog named Hershey. <laughs> Hershey, Pennsylvania. You have to call him Hershey. I'm from there. Oh, you are. Yeah, but Her- no one there has a dog named Hershey. They probably had dogs named Philadelphia. <laughs> no. No. Um, they're just like spot and stuff. Spot. <laughs> was the dog at least brown? Like brown. Like Hershey chocolate Her- Her- brown. Hershey was brown. Uh-huh. He, he, I got him out of a shelter, and even though he wasn't Jewish, I adopted him. You know what I mean? That's how good yeah. heart I have. Uh, so, oh, we can talk about adoption later. I, okay. For okay. sure, yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm big, big on that. So you yeah. have Hershey, you I have Hershey, dog. and uh, I'm always walking this dog with, this lovely lady named Liz Osborne. Uh, it just so happens that uh, I already sold my store and I sold BMWs for about 10 years. I stopped that. And then I had a bed and breakfast in my home. And I stopped that and I was looking for something to do. So I, uh, I picked up in my house all the little tchotchkes you have, vases, bottles. <clears throat> what kind of... Bourbon is this? Dewey's number 69, small batch bourbon whiskey. You would put it on a... A shelf. A sh- thank you, Sue. Uh-huh. Yep. Um, f- uh, and then I would start to paint. This is after I'm not working. The bottles. Uh, the bottles. So you're retired, would you say, at this point? Or uh, you just... In between. I don't know what I was okay. doing next. It was like a hobby. Yeah. Right. So I said, let's paint. Let's paint. Let's but paint. Why, but what, what made you decide to go buy paint and a brush and paint? Because a lot of people will be like, hey, let's, you know, like... There's not that many hobby artists, probably. Maybe there are. Actually, I don't know. I think there probably are. Yeah, there's a, yeah. All right, so you're, yeah. so, okay. So, so I'm painting. You're painting. So I'm walking uh, my dog with this lady named um, Liz Osborne, mm. and I invited her for coffee. So she came over. She saw him. And she saw the paintings, and in one instant, she says, you're going to the Pennsylvania Academy. I said, what? Papha. Papha. And, um... She is, uh, she's already was teaching there maybe 45 years. No way. Yes. She's top school, by the way. If you're not familiar, again, at PAFA, you know, there's a long tradition of great artists coming out of PAFA. And she's one of the greatest art artists in Philadelphia. She shows at the most expensive uh, gallery in Philadelphia called Locks Gallery. Mm. If you go there, you'll be blown away on her. Well, anyway... Uh, so she, she says. She saw in, in she, your yeah. paintings when she came into your home. Right. She said, "Yeah." She identified that. Right. You needed and to pursue it. I would never have gone to PAFA. I would have never thought that I could uh, be part of the, such a institution because I'm not it's from big that. deal. Yeah, it was a big deal. Was it hard to get in? She got me right in. No way. She got me. She she told the <laughs> office, "You're letting David Katz in." Really? Yes. Only you, David. Yeah. And they she did. did. It. Yeah. She did. And uh, and I had the I had a ball. I, I biked there every day, and uh, and I was probably one like it's like ten people there my age. The rest were twenty year olds. So the ten adults take the school very seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I went to school so. with my mom. <laughs> yes, <laughs> very serious. Yes. So wait, yes. I, I th- what I think is interesting though, because I remember asking you when we had our interview. Um, you probably spent the first six months at least drawing those four the uh, sculptures that they have there. Oh yeah, um, or, uh, right. Is that what how it starts? Like their yeah, yeah. construction? Uh, well, it it starts with two years of serious serious schooling classes, yeah. and I really like the teachers who were not free form. I liked what you said is paint is actually drawing. Uh, 
bodies and yeah. joint, mm-hmm. instead of because you want the no, basics. No. You got to get the bone structure. You got. It, I trained with an artist, Leslie Bowen. She said, "If you can draw uh, a human being that's believable to the eye, you can really draw anything." Because we're so tuned to looking at people, we can intuitively tell if something's off, you know. And really, if you go the 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 human being is really the skeleton with skin on it. So if you can nail bones, and, did you guys do bo- uh, uh, skeletons? Yes. Perfect. So we learned the anatomy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it went... Da Vinci. Yeah. I mean, all the greats, yes. like, they would do this. I would say the elderly people learned the anatomy. The kids didn't. What were they, the kids they, doing? They were not... Uh, they were not there, if I can really? say that. All I, of them? I, Are not you all of them. David, I'm, I'm stereotyping. Yeah, I'm a stereotypical... Stereotyper? Stereotyper <laughs> <laughs> person. By the way, th- is this in stereo, th- these monitor, these speakers? I don't know why. Because I want to be completely stereotypical. I don't want half... Oh, uh, yeah, you, you know, want full, uh, full, full stereotype. I want, do you have... No, okay. It's, 100%. It's 100 Thank yeah. you, Sue. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. So, no, I... Look, okay, in the last two years of... Uh, to your point about... My point, our point about kids, the last two years, you get a, an actual studio in the school, and you get... Uh, you get... Uh, mentors who come in there, these highfalutin real artists come into your studio and they give you critiques and they they really help you out. But what about the kids is that the adults were always in the studio. I was there till 12 o'clock at night. Mm. I never saw any kids there. So if this is an indictment on kids, I apologize. I do like kids. You know, stay in your room. Yeah, (laughs) or stay in your lane. You stay in your. I mean, they didn't take it seriously. Well, they had to build. They were trying to build a social life. They've been at home. Like you get out, you're in college. Like there's other aspects of the to the experience. I agree. You know, and you're you're at a point where you had already run a successful business. Yes. Right, and you were whatever. It's different motives, but I agree. It's hard to find. uh, You know, can be harder to find hardworking. You know, young. young There, There were maybe five kids who were out of the whole. I think that the, can I be, I'm a very critical person. I think I enjoy the traditional teachers who actually expected something from you than the non-traditional, let's go with the flow teachers. I think That are get, hard on you. They, right. Be hard on me. Me you're, too. Yeah. You're not going to get anything with the other teachers who say there's homework and then you don't show up with homework and they don't flunk you. No, they got to flunk you. They don't flunk you. Yeah, I'm well, Don't you that. feel like you were in a, in a mental space where you were really trying to prove yourself, maybe even well, to yourself? Well, you paid for this, right? That's the excellent point. You pay for it. You the paid kids for this. Don't. Thank you. That's it. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. you That's paid. Ryan. Yes. That's the truth. When you're money, paying, it all comes down to money, like you said earlier. Th- to money. Everything comes down to money. <laughs> when you're paying, this you want to... Don't right. short my board out. Oh, I can, oh, this is going to go bad. This, the oh, colors yeah. are... What is this can called? The board? Can we hit a sound? Yeah, we can hit a sound. How about it? What is this? <laughs> oh. You like that? They're clapping yeah. for you, David. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Does Barbara Walter, is she alive? Is she going to come and interview? Is Every, she alive? Is, I don't is, know. Okay. I don't watch the news much. Okay, okay. listen. Right. Back to PAFA, the, PAFA. The, the the originator of of Thomas Aikens. Yes, and, right. Like 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 people like the Gross Clinic. Talk yes. about figure drawing. I mean, these are. are I, I worked out of the Aikens house in Fairmont, no. right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So so you have this rich legacy. You're there. You're taking it seriously. You're in the studio till midnight. What are you producing? Okay, um, I had this one influential teacher. Uh, it was a color class, and part of the color class was to grab a million images off of magazines, books, whatever that you can cut out, and then arrange it uh, any way you want. You can throw the images, get a month, a lot of inches, images, throw them on a piece of paper, and then glue them, and then you have uh, a, collage. a collage. But what I did was, I <laughs> thank you. A catalog what? collage? That's your... <laughs> Right. So th- <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm hanging with you. Yeah, yeah. no, okay, so we're hanging. Go ahead, collage. Okay. Collage. Um, you know what word I hate that I heard yesterday is glisse, glisse whatever, when you put the- That's what everyone says. Glisse. I, collage is close second, isn't it? They call it a glisse? Glisse. If you glue stuff together. No, glisse is- Yeah, it's when is you a- paint on top of the yeah. image, like you print an image of a painting- you, pay, you oh, print you, a painting you, you, and then you go over top it. of it 
So it looks like there's For a touch real. of hands, Got but it. it's much cheaper. So it's like a knockoff. Yes. Kind of. People yes, love that, though. They love it. It's cliche. Well, no, but you know, too, no. it's the price point makes it where, like me, I can't spend the five thousand. But you know, if it's eight hundred, me, you know, right. like the, you it, can still it have it. A, it for makes a fraction it right. of the price. Wait, does the same artist that did the print touch it up? Yes. Well, that's typically how it's done. At least. Locally. So you're just adding the texture. You're giving more than a print. Yeah, right. you've touched it. All right. Anyway, I'm so down. We'll, okay, well, we were talking about <laughs> well, you were, your collage. Collage. So that's what I did. I put these collages together, and then I transform. I then I drew them on canvas, and I would paint the collage on canvas. Mm. So is that's this in the, your house? Yeah, I have a lot of them with in my all house. the t- yes. torn edges and everything. You could do the torn edges no, if like, you want. Yeah. yeah, or you can cut them. You know, you can you can cut out. Uh, uh, um, a lot of cutouts of whiskey bottles that you see in magazines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Line them up or do them in a circle. This was pre-absolute vodka campaign, wasn't it? Where you oh. saw a bottle on every back cover of magazines. Remember that? Yeah, for sure. Right? It's like Kohler now. Yeah. It's like <laughs> right. They started that back. It, was, it went way back. But wait, right. you segued, though, into the homeless people at some point. Oh, right. Wait, hold on. We're going to okay. go there because that's, that's an amazing thing. But yeah. I, I want to ask this. You tell me you like hard teachers and you're very critical of others in your own work. You're in PAFA. Right. What did the student, David Katz, produce at PAFA? Like okay. when you were in tutelage of these fine okay. artists. I did these collages. And you painted them. And I painted, and I made my own stretchers. It was all, it all involved. Well, they good. everything. Hmm? They were nice. They were very nice. And I really enjoyed talking to them when they're mentors came into your studio into your uh workshop yeah. and but i i also while i was in pafa i did the homeless people and that was that, real, was, that was nice that, thank you very much that's very that's actually yeah. probably my fi- well it's hard to say i actually well, have been living with your work for the last month walking by and that's the thing you got to live with an artwork i mm-hmm. think you know something that even that you're thinking about or it's so fun for me to be able to change this out regularly but um, that series I'd love to see. Uh, Where is it? It's, it's in my house. I don't house. show them. I don't show them. I don't know why. I, well, I'll tell you what. But, there is well, something raw in them. Wow. There's... Um, Describe so, this. Yeah. I mean, I, I was lucky to see it because I was at your house, but there was many images of... Tell, tell them the story of how it happened. Okay, these were my customers in my stores. Uh, they were all homeless they had mental deficiencies or whatever you want. Yeah, to illness. Illnesses, thank yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> they were lovely people, and I asked to paint them, but I took pictures of them because they can't sit still. Yeah. So, uh, so I, it's just one after another. I just, uh, and most of them. How many? Uh, 17. And uh, a lot of them committed suicide. Uh. A lot of them have, but they were so. Well, you could so give the prints to the family? Did you do any of that? Sure. I don't know the family. You don't know they the family? In, they, no, they lived in a way house. Because they, they would love it. What a, what a tribute. Yeah, oh, that's true. That's, that's a good point. Maybe we'll try to track. Well, okay. we'll see. I don't know. But it's right. br- brilliant, right. uh, the, the pieces that you did. Thank you very why, much, why, What motivated you to ask uh, those folks in your life to sit for you while you're at PAFA? Uh, um, they touch me more than regular people because they're really struggling with life. They're, other people complain about stuff. They have, they don't complain. So they, they know that they're not part of society. Whoa. What were you trying to capture in those portraits? Um, uh, their eyes. Their, their eyes are the, uh, really, or um, you really cry when you paint it. It's mm. just, uh, wow. it's, I mean, they're raw, Let's, and uh, we have nothing to complain about. Did you cry when you painted them? I cry all the time. Mm. Well, that's, I think, what it is, is they're so powerful because they're, the emotion is what's coming out. It's like yes. what you're putting into it completely oh. comes right back out. Thank you very much. Yeah, they, they're incredible. I'm honored. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're awesome. Deeply personal question yeah. you can pass. Did you cry a lot growing up? Yes, yes. Um, I, I grew up gay in a very uh, different world, and you knew you were different, and at that time you couldn't talk about it, and you cried every night. Mm. 
I mean, that's going okay. I wow. mean, that's that's a fact. How was your family uh, environment growing up that way? I, um, my father uh, is uh, your stereotypical macho guy. I mean, he's as strong as a bull and like me. Like you, almost <laughs> as good as you, Ryan. Ryan. I, 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 Dad bod now, I've been no. informed. <laughs> I mean, it, it, not about me. Go yeah, ahead, it, was, it, it, it was, uh, it was, I know, I, mm. this is also a group of Holocaust survivors. So I, well, that's right, we, I studied the Holocaust. Yeah. So a lot I'm, of layers. I'm, yeah. A lot of layers. So, so yes, yeah, so this is uh, maybe 50 couples who uh, escaped uh, and uh, Auschwitz and walked across uh um, the mountains to get to Italy and then ended up in Israel and ended up in wars and wars and uh, they had no parents. So And then everyone came to America because Kennedy was president. He was a big, big influence on the world. Uh, a lot of immigrants were, um, my parents included and their friends, Kennedy was a, sh- a beacon to come to America. And wow. maybe that's what we're missing in America. A beacon There's, of light. We need a beacon here. There's no more beacon. And Kennedy was a phenomenal beacon. That's really interesting. Hope, so, yeah. So uh, we grew up and we got, I was uh, always with these kids, but I knew I was different. And when, being different is hard, yeah. whatever your difference Absolutely. is. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I think more people feel different now than ever before, too. Right. Oh, Good point. There's more labels. It's it's yes. a it's a label culture. We've become very technology isolated. labels you. Like you are already so heavily labeled, and kids know it. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, I, I I see it. It's crazy. I I, I get really? geek out on the tech side. Yeah, hundred percent. That's why we bought the cafe just to give people a chance to come okay. talk, to listen, to learn. You got to get a chance to sit with people. Like just getting a chance to know you right now. I want to. I, I, we, we're probably going to be crying by the end of this. It happens no. almost every show for me now. Mm. Really? But I, but but I do okay. want to go back. I to do want to talk about this junction because you thought about this place. If people have not been in here, this is an exquisitely personal place. This is not a a cutout from uh, fifty manufactured corporate uh, meetings. This is personal love there is an actual upside down christmas tree <laughs> hanging from the roof where are you going to see an upside down christmas tree you're not it was a german Any, tradition ger, ger, yeah, really lisa v yeah, oh yeah. Oh the story is in the december issue of junction check it out but we have a lot of fun here corporate we are not um we don't even currently have any public hours so people shake the doors trying to get mushroom soup and coffee i'm like no, sorry guys, but um, it's okay. Listen, space, I will. I will yes. give you this. Yes, I bought a cafe in the middle of the pandemic. You bought it and opened an art gallery. There yeah. you go. Yeah. You gotta go against the flow. You got. Yeah. You got. It, life it, is too short not to cheaper. do anything. Do it. Do it. Whatever. Why did you do that? Hmm? I know we're gonna jump. We're jumping around, but like, why did you buy a? Why did you open the gallery? Uh, when you last year? When did you open it? Uh, it, it. This is my second year, so it was. Wait, a year and wait, a half? before the pandemic? No, during the pandemic. It's been it was, that long? It's been that long. <laughs> so yeah. did the pandemic, <laughs> yeah. in a way, create a, an opportunity there that otherwise wouldn't have been? Or No, I couldn't care less. You, you, no, no. No? No, it's, it's like... Uh, well, for me, it's like when things are down, they're yes. usually... or I, I, When I shop, I, I look for the thing that's on sale that nobody wanted, and then I make something awesome out of it. Uh, that's so a good I'm guess. Like, so yes. yeah. are was this like a deal or no i don't know what a deal is okay. I, I just went in and You're i just human. went in i didn't i didn't really um i knew it was a little bit cheaper than uh the rent than a place on market street because i tried to open up right on market in the borough and that was ooh, that's oh, a little high well it's only one block market. away so i was a block away and it was cheaper so i took it and it was nicer i have beautiful bay windows it's gorgeous and it's a gorgeous thank you and i also fixed it up because it was a dump you know what you have your own space where you can host people and show your work and connect people and it's a beautiful thing it is so you so you um yeah um, congratulations congratulations on junction thank you it's it's even the if ladies and gentlemen you cannot see even the floors did you put these floors in no they've been here since um 
Lafayette stormed freaking really <laughs> Lafayette. <laughs> this was a goat barn. <laughs> this, is, this is we got a lot of stories up in here. In fact, that Christmas tree upside down has been there for about twenty years since Lisa Vonderstuck started it. Oh, um, yeah, we're we, that's a that's an homage. Not that actual tree, but okay. That is an homage to that. There's a lot of to things. The past. There's a lot of things. We try to give a nod and honor the past and tell stories and also look to the future and all the intersection thereafter. And it's fun because we can learn so much from visionaries. We can learn so much from historians. And really, I think good artists also are students. They're students of, they're, they're keen observers. I'm gonna, I geek out with you on the importance of artists in, in, in economies and in communities and mm-hmm, cultures. Mm-hmm. Like They tend to be people who feel more uh, deeply. They also can feel things coming before other people do. You know, I can't imagine, like, you opening a gallery during the pandemic, I'd love to know about your productivity during it, the subject matter, but I, I feel like we still have to go back, pa- Go. let's try to go in time, Papa, like Back to the Future? No, you do the series, you do the series, you do the series on your customers, yes. 17 folks with yes. different disabilities, how do we go from there? To, to Chester County, County. skylines, the tops of buildings. Oh, thank you for asking. Um, like, go, take <laughs> right. me from here to here. Okay. Because I'm trying to, like... Um, I finished school, and I saw that this house was for sale in Westchester, and uh, I contacted the real estate agent, and as soon as I drove there, I said, I have to live here. I mean, it was like... I, I didn't do any homework. I didn't check the neighborhoods. I didn't. I oh, just, yeah. you got to do it. You got to do it. Mm-hmm. Just like opening up a gallery or opening up Junction. If you took a, a million studies on how to do it, you would never do I it. I prayed about this. It was a clear, clear I was supposed to do it. Mm-hmm. That's so, it. Yeah, I'm like you. So, I, uh, it was a dilapidated home. Really? I it, yes. A fixer-upper. A fixer-upper, but at, the grounds were magnificent. Awesome. Wow. And you cannot buy grounds like that anymore. So I said, David, this is it. So, uh, wow. I so moved you moved out, out to Chester County. To Chester from, County. From Fairmount. Right. I, I had wow. a beautiful home in the city. I had the best time in the city. It's I just a, needed a change. And I, I honestly, I, I had no preconceived notions of what Chester County is as far as I'm concerned. I didn't know I would fit in. I didn't know what kind of people. That's were a good here. move, Fairmount to, to Westchester. Yeah, I could see that being a good connection. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I, but I didn't know how good. Well, I and didn't. it was different then. Oh, okay. Right. I mean, this was how long ago? Uh, thirteen years ago. Oh, okay. That's not that long ago. So thirteen years ago, and what are you painting all this time? Um. Um, I'm painting the. Uh, the are you productive? Are you actually a yes. productive artist through this? Time? Oh yes, yeah. Okay. I, I paint in, in my home in Philadelphia. I had a studio in the, in the attic. Uh, um, I'm, I'm painting those um, collages, collage-based paintings. Mm-hmm. So I would do series. I would do series of uh, sofas flying, chairs flying. I, I, I work in series, so you could see all the paintings connect to each other. So if you were put them together, they would have, they can talk to each other. Okay. So, um, so I moved out here and I did a lot of art stuff where you would go out plan air and paint, paint with friends. How do you say that? Plan air. Plan air. Yeah. P-L-E-I-N. I see it. I signed up for a couple. I didn't go, but I, you I didn't go. No, I, I, I want to go and yeah. But anyway, keep going. Well, no, I feel I'm like good. you were in the company of, Lily Gaylor. Yes. Were you? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. my gosh. I and love Lily. Randall. Had, yes. Randall. I love him. Yeah. He's my, Randy. Those are your peeps? Graham? Oh, Rand- my God. Yeah, Randall Graham. And uh, uh, can I just say something about Randy? Please. Randall? Yeah. He, he epitomized to me Westchester. I mean, Chester really? County. Because he is such a good person. And I find everyone here is so nice you can feel comfortable i could say anything i want and it's not thrown back in my face so i not that the uh, artist community is so strong strong yes but randall is an exceptional and i used to paint in my house and randy would have 
his, he would paint online and people would call in, how do you do this? How do, and he would paint and help him out. He would be my buddy. I would watch him paint while I'm painting. It was, and That's then his, cool. his it's kids, during quarantine when he did during that. During quarantine. Yeah, because I did a radio Thank show you. with him. Oh my God. And that's what we did in it because yes. it was like, what are artists doing during quarantine? I'd watch them on Facebook. I thought a lot of good artists were kind of living the quarantine lifestyle anyway, right? They're pretty. Um, well, some, yeah, yeah. I think you know that's I mean? fair. Recluses. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> that going on? But that's not David. No, I, you, you, so you're, he, you're, does, he paints in the window of his I gallery. Do you really? Yeah. yeah. You do I, any performance painting? Or? I sing it's a and I dance while I in <laughs> the window. Really? I do. <laughs> And your Friday nights are jumping off. The that was first yes. Friday? Is yes. this just an evolution of your sales um, per- shtick? <laughs> no, I have to have music while I paint. So How are it, sales? Sales? I know we've sold a few, right? Through Junction? Well, oh. I yes. When design, we, put, we got a design just, request from a resident. We put your piece in the house. The Jameses. Oh, yes. Yeah. And they, oh, they loved Wendy, it. Wendy. 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 I amazing. loved Wendy. She came over to my house with Sue. Yeah, it was and amazing. We they will loved never it. get over I, it. After they left, I said to myself, did I put enough meat in the sandwiches I made for them? Because I didn't know how they liked it. Did they like it? Like <laughs> They're cool region. They're, 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 they're like, they're easy. They're yeah. easy. Wendy's they're easy. a uh, She's and, a love. Uh, oh, Sue is. Uh, Sue made my day. Anyway, we we have fun. Sue, well, here's the question: Why wasn't I invited to any of this? Like, oh, I want to know. I, oh. Let's get that fixed quick. I'm pretty sure you were writing the or editing the magazine while we I don't were. do that anymore. Yeah. Um, no, I I want to come to your house at some point, and okay. I want to see the series. You do. Uh, and listen, yes. as someone who worked with, uh, so the when I, I worked for the mural arts program for a few years in, in the city, my office was at 17, the Mount Vernon, the Thomas Eakins house. Oh, and I've, been, I've been there. Yeah, of course yes, you have. Yes. And a lot of our best work was in these communities that were so beaten down and mm. so unheard. And so, and we would come in and use art as the, the medium to help folks address these hard, hard issues. I'm talking like in Greaterford, getting the murderer with the family of the, the murdered and using art to create, you know, series that based on that and reconciliation or disabilities or addiction treatment, stig- de-stigma- uh, destigmatizing some of the social services. And when you get into to that kind of art, it is a lot of tears are shed. It's a beautiful thing. It, it's cathartic, but it's important. And so I actually really applaud that series. I understand your sensitivity to not wanting to put it out everywhere, but uh, I would love to see it at some point. Oh, thank you. So we need to get to how you evolved to the skies. Oh, the skies. Yeah. So I went to this uh, plan air event where everyone yes. paints outdoors, and everyone is sitting down, and I didn't know. there. It, it was basically at a farm with a lot of barns and... And I didn't know what to paint because everyone is... The grass was taken. <laughs> yeah, right. I, everybody already had their... Like, right. I didn't have my shtick yet. Right. Yeah, they yeah had, your they, shtick. Yeah, shtick. <laughs> so I, I don't know what happened. Makes but sense. I saw that everyone looks this way. They look horizontally. Mm-hmm. They don't look up. No artist looks up. They, don't, they might put the sky as an afterthought. But their main thought is to put the entire house yeah. in the picture with the bushes the and, yeah. and, and the, the cat walking across. Um, it's Bob Ross's fault. Bob, it's Bob Ross. He threw the clouds yes. into the end every time. Yeah, Bob Ross. Well, we've got clouds, though. Yeah. We do. All right, so so you- I, I looked up and I painted the roofs with the skies on top. And that made all the difference. And I said, aha, because the clouds, the skies in Chester County are spectacular. And it really is, if I may say, uplifting to, if you're depressed, stop looking at the ground. Look up. up Because there is life up there that if there's no life down here, there's actual movement, there's colors. It's it's mind-blowing what you see up in the sky. And when you are outside, actually scientifically proven that looking up at the clouds and getting the sun and, and it on your face is, is, is a really good thing. It's a really good thing. Really? It's, I, mean, I mean, I see people, they walk with their dogs and they're looking at their telephone. Oh my I gosh. say, are you, or is this? Everyone's looking down they're now. They're looking at I, I, I'm in I my I tell window. my kids all the time. Yeah. I'm like, look at the sky in the morning, the sunrise. And they're inside. It's incredible. I want to share with you. This is not my idea. Uh, I can't pronounce that word. Uh, 
but my neighbors, here's Carol Sunset. These are my phenomenal neighbors, Carol and Hako. They share skies oh, yeah. and with oh, their gosh. family yeah. and they included me in there. So <laughs> I, it wasn't my idea to, to do, but every night, their children, their cousins, they're all in here sharing skies. Wait, is there a Chester County Skies page? There should be. You should do it. I just gave That's you that you. idea. That's all That's you, dude. Me. That's okay. you. Yeah, because listen, right. I post them. Everyone yes. around here posts them. Just create the tag. And we that, can, okay, we need. Okay, let's done. let's do that to, together. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Right, cool. Yeah. Down. So yeah. you'll be the vice president in charge of thunderclouds. Emma. Oh, okay. Ryan. You. Emma is our new intern. She's here. Emma. Launch the Chester County Skies Facebook page. We will all load our pictures. We load on. Uh, skies. I have a hundred of them. Okay. I have a hundred of them. And we let everyone join who wants to join. And, you, and we and are post. the, we, yes. Of okay. Yeah, yeah. It's not, our, it's not our sky. We don't own it. All oh, right, Emma. Done. done. She's on it. Okay. All right, cool. All right, that's it. So th and then that's What how a beautiful I'm thing to look at. Yeah. Right? Well, okay, so I, I feel fortunate because I got to go to your house and see some of your Keep past that work. in. I know, it's annoying. <laughs> and then with Wendy James, you know, we got to do the Artist of the Month in her home. We found yes, we an did. amazing space, and one of your paintings found a permanent home. What issue was that? So and people can... <clears throat> I can't remember two what months month ago. it came out. Um, but now I've been at their home doing interior design for them and just working on their house and I get to hang out with your painting. That's cool. Okay. It's all I, the time. I, I have to plug Sue. <laughs> uh, if, if you want a stodgy, opinionated, uh, better than you decorator, that's not Sue. <laughs> Sue is right there in the ba in the bunkers with you, decorating with you. She did this cafe, up. a lot of this. Oh, oh, yes? Yeah. There you go. Well, you know what it is, guys? It's a collaboration. It's fun it's, to work with you, yeah. We work together, and that's what I do in people's homes. I want to work with them. I'm not trying to force an opinion, but um, to add your art and your heart and your vision into someone's space, it just elevated her living like her living space it was a perfect fit i it remember when i walked stunning. in for the photo shoot and i'll post this for people that are listening you can see the article we ran it, it was, was a september september issue and to be there in the house when when that got hung i was like oh my god how can they not buy that oh, that's like insane. literally completes the whole room it does like money on point point. and you were that wait you said something it was the first time i met you yes and i walked in and you said something that and now that i got you on the show i can ask you you said um, something along the lines of, you were so grateful. I mean, you were almost in tears, oh. and you said, especially now. Like, mm. the timing of that, that purchase meant a lot to you. Um, uh, yes, I, I can't... Uh, uh, because I felt that we hit it off, so there was yeah. a connection there. Right as I opened my door to the house and Wendy and Sue came in, it was like meeting a girl and you knew that was the one so it's like it was that magic we Wait, all had that wendy, feeling yeah. wendy or we Sue? Did. with all of them or who we walked in together and yeah, uh, with wendy and from and, my perspective yeah. his he had the door open and the the music was pouring out of the front door and it was just like singing for us to come in, and and the second we stepped in, it was magic. Well, that's when Coal Region people. That's my, my families are from there. <laughs> from where? When I met Coal when, Region, when I, yeah, uh, in in Pennsylvania, sort of Pen, uh, Pottsville, where Yingling Lager comes from, Minersville, Frackville, that whole area. It's called the Coal Region. Hard blue collar working people, down to earth. As soon as I met Wendy, I realized. <sighs> guess what I figured out when, at that same night that she went to high school with my mom. It's and, crazy. and she was a couple years she's younger than my mom but they like best friends with my aunt like and i could tell by the way she talks they have a certain accent and then she was like a coal cracker like you could just flat out tell but they're the most down-to-earth people down to and, earth. and i'm telling you like I, you can give them a hug and and uh -huh. they're gonna you know send you home with halipkis it's like well, david gave us lunch and we all it was connected. makeshift. I quickly said, oh, sorry. That's makeshift. awesome. <laughs> what are you making? A, what Wendy are you making kept a saying, he made us the sandwiches. <laughs> we got to get the painting. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, not, it's, not taking away I, from the sky at no, all. It was I, just you gave us something. I, okay. I, if, if, you talk, if you talk about crying, the most beautiful thing about art is it brings out something in the person buying it. 
there's something that, um, this I'm gonna um, I'm not gonna say names, but this very lovely lady uh, she saw my work. She worked for the municipality of West Bradford, and she always wanted my piece of work. So years go by, <clears throat> and I get this phone call from a parent, and they. They, they said, you're David Katz? I said, yes. Uh, our daughter, we gave her, she's graduating from master's, her master's degree, and we gave her a choice, a pony or a David Katz painting. She came to my house. When she grabbed the painting she wanted, you could, uh, you could have, in Jewish, you could have quelled, or you, know, you could have just died. Oh, wow. When she held on to that painting you knew something special it and that's the power of what art can do to someone it's mm. beyond the money paid for it or the or it's it's okay this other couple came into my gar gallery this is the magic yeah uh, you know about wendy is. was magic wendy and james were magic and sue you were um the merlin uh, <laughs> but this uh, couple came into my gallery, and uh, they looked around, and the wife just pointed at the painting she wanted. The next, they didn't buy. The next day, the husband comes in, I'm going to surprise my wife with that painting. I died. I mean, this is... This, they, mm. You knew they had a great marriage. You knew this guy knew his wife. Mm. He knew what, what kept her happy. Well, she worked for the, uh, the uh, Philadelphia Art Museum. Ugh. And she picked a painting. And that was a little kudos for me, too. But it's, I'm talking about the love that wow. you yeah. saw. Yeah, there. yeah. No, and, and this is replicated many times in the gallery. You know, I, I see it replicated because you often post buyers and cool. you'll take a video and let them talk about why they loved, what, why they picked what they picked or what they loved about the painting. And I, always, I love watching it because, first of all, you attract characters in that gap. They're all, yes, I do. They, yes. I, but they're, they're real collectors. Just like in Philadelphia, I attracted character you did homeless characters into the store i get a lot of homeless people coming into the gallery because it's one space that is friendly um uh, yeah and so, you you did that fundraiser oh, too oh the fundraiser don't forget i have to mention safe harbors around the corner mm -hmm. again chester county at its best yeah they help homeless people yeah and it's right yeah, around it's, the, it, the side it, of the block from your gallery so I, so I donate there a lot of paintings, and they sell them, and it's phenomenal. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal outfit. Yeah, yeah. and you, you've, you've sold paintings and given part of the proceeds yes. to Safe Harbor. Safe Harbor. Safe Harbor. <clears throat> Hello, James. David James. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. That. No, I'm glad. We had to, we had to put that in there because yes. that's important. It's part of Westchester. It is. Yeah. Well, and you're often using your art to fundraise for different... You do, uh, to food banks. Oh, here we go. I donated to a food bank. Who bought my painting? The new mayor of Westchester. Oh, Is that right? Wow. The new mayor. She came over, and she did an interview with me in the gallery, and I said, I, I'm flabbergasted. Uh, it's like, this could only happen in Chester County. Mm. It's, 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 yeah, it's wonderful. It's magical. Lillian... Is, is going to be a phenomenal mayor. Good. That's awesome. Yes. Well, I That's hope exciting. So. I think it's important to root for public servants. You yeah. Know? So no matter You know what, what they get paid? <laughs> not, not much, I'm sure. Not what, much. What, what, a it's buck, a, buck it's an act of love. No, maybe eight. Is that it? That's it. Enough to get two burgers at McDonald's? For the mayor of Westchester? Yes. Well, maybe well. she gets a... Mercedes Maybach. Money's as, not as, as Maybach. <laughs> People aren't always doing it for the money. You're a case study. She's of that. giving back. She's yeah. giving back. Yeah, and yeah. I think uh, I I would say the arts are giving back. It's it's anyone in the arts. Oh, you're giving back. You're giving back. You're 
creating commerce here, you're giving back. It, you're not selfishly, uh, you're giving, there's Listen, love you want to hear here. something cool? Yes. At one point, it's been a while, um, through a month with an artist, the column, and basically different artist interviews and things that we've done, we've sold over $300,000 worth of artwork. Wow. And it's almost all like local you, Jacqueline Bean. We've sold stuff for Vicky Manning, different pieces. Uh, Robert Jackson took, you know, like all kinds of stuff, you know, and it's it, it, part of it is people just don't, they're busy. They don't know. They don't know as the price point goes up, they get anxiety. They can't commit. They, then they buy something from home goods, you know, and it's like a downward. So for me, you know, helping people get to know artists, that's why we do this. Well, I'll tell you do. what, the, uh, the Chadsford Art Show is coming up in, at the elementary school. There's so much art. The Unionville Art Show just okay. happened. I, well, I logged on. They had 600 pieces. Like, there's literally no, uh, and, at, and at price points where you're like, wow, it's like an incredible amount of artwork that is av- that's being produced around here that is available, that is like high, qu- good quality. That's why it's nice to have you, David, and your space open and available. It's somewhere people can always go. We need. I and, would. And I'll, you champion other artists too. I, yes, I do. I include. But I would love to see more galleries in sure. Westchester. So people, it's, not, it's it's a tough time. It's tough to be a gallery. It's tough. It's tough. But do you know who comes into the gallery? Who? Tourists. Tourists oh, need yeah. galleries. They don't want to walk into restaurants and barber shops. They yeah. want to walk into galleries. They, like galleries. they want to see. A, they want to grab a little memory that they were here in Westchester. Are you buying, selling more to locals or more to vis- out of towners? Uh, more to locals, really? but but the, but the out of towners they'll buy the small painting as a memento that they were in Westchester. Yeah. They do. Yeah. yeah. Or sense. the parents of students. Yes. You know, um, at the university. That want to be able to give something. Okay. I have to say this is bulletin. Bulletin. I, <laughs> <laughs> I just. This, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wrong sound effect. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Forget it. The Tonight um, Show is not going to be for you. No. 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 <laughs> I can't do it. Well, what's that guy who's the stock market guy? Uh, and then he Jim does. Kramer. Yeah, 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 he yeah. does the sound effects yeah, and he goes, whoop What does he do? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I forget, okay. but I know you're talking about. Well, what's the bulletin? <laughs> okay, the bulletin is, uh, here we go. We're talking about my history, and here's a painting that I cried making for the Chester County Bar Association. Mm. I just finished it, and this is like, um, has the American flag, has the old courthouse, oh. it has the, the, the soldier on a pedestal. I mean... I love America. There, there is just, people can be whatever you want to be, but you're an idiot if you don't love America, period. Amen. There, is, there is just, I mean, only an immigrant can come into a supermarket and cry. We Americans, I'm an American now, we take it for granted. There is no country like America. But anyway, so this is a commission from the uh, Chester County Bar Association, and I am privileged and honored that they chose me. It was an honor uh, to do. So that was, I think, the the cherry on a Sunday or whatever. Yeah. So the icing that, on top. Icing on top. So that was, and uh, I just took it to D- Tim Vaughn to scan it, and uh, every new uh, lawyer that enters the bar association will get a signed. A frame print, um, Marriott Visual Expansion, another superstar in Chester County is doing the framing, and and she and she's framing the original. Wow! So again, keep it local. Yeah, yeah, we're, Mary. We're, keep that's. Uh, can I tell you again why Chester County is so fabulous? I opened up my gallery. Who was there for three hours helping me? Mary from Visual Expansion. You cannot. She get was a this. junction sponsor. She's really? a supporter. Yeah, love the community aspect of it. I got to go see Mary. I haven't seen her in a while. 
I love good framing. Though. She's got a great <clears throat> location too. Yes. And I would imagine people that go to see hers will then walk up two blocks to you and she I I I, I sent to her, she sends to me. Yeah. And you got to keep it local, keep it going in the borough. Yes. You gotta, She's got Speaking of in the borough. Yeah. So and we could dive I there's like 10 questions I have that I didn't even get a chance to ask you. But uh, I do you know, I do want to ask about if you know 2022 like looking ahead like what are what are people's opportunities to come meet you engage with your art different things that you're doing that would be exciting for people to know about um they can paint with me it's it's an open just, when uh, just come paint it's so I'm much fun that. we put Let's on music let's go paint with David yes come I think paint. we need to go paint come paint oh my gosh in we, your studio yes at the, sh- at the gallery. At the gallery how many can you fit small it's, Ten? it's it's 500 square feet. The bathroom is smaller than my underwear. It's, uh, <laughs> I couldn't say the other thing. I just said underwear. Appreciate that. Thank you. Um, we, I will be there. Yeah, totally. I'm, I'm looking, I've been looking to get into, uh, actually, I've been making some architectural drawings lately. Yeah, just trying to figure out some house stuff. So I, uh, I could get down with some with, painting. Uh, with some painting. Painting with David. Why not? Totally. That could be a whole other podcast. Yeah, we could totally hang with that. We yeah. could do a podcast in the gallery. Yeah, I'm and that. people walking in, include them in. Oh yeah. All this really is is us just putting cameras at ourselves and having a conversation we would have had anyway, and pretending people are going to watch it. Well, I always thought that I just was an idea. We, we, we're going to do the cloud thing together, <laughs> so but I always thought a morning t- morning. Talk show with Chester County, where you walk around in the street and talk to people. That's a great uh, concept. I've seen that. Well done. <clears throat> I'm down with it. Yeah. I mean, there's a guy doing. Um, there's a guy around Westchester. There, I forget. I saw him on on Instagram. I'm not in Westchester as much. I barely leave. Oh. I live across the street. Okay. I come You're, here. And Chad's Ford. Okay. No, I get no. out. I, I I need to get out a little bit more. No. Um, I'm in Westchester three You're, days a week. Are you Sue? Because. My daughter is at the Sue YMCA is. for gymnastics. Sue and Bernie get... Okay, can we talk about it. the YMCA? Yes. Oh, but, yeah, you love the YMCA. I love the Y. But you have to tell us about the cloud series. The cloud I, series. I need to know about okay. that before we wrap it up. Okay. Darn, I was excited about the Y. No, go to the Y. <laughs> and then... It, it, it the, the Y is specta- another spectacular community mm-hmm. that... Fitness uh, community. Yes. But they're so friendly and so lovely. They are. It's it's a miracle. Do you it's, work out there? Yes. What do you do? I I used to swim, and I changed it, and now I'm more running and more a little bit of weightlifting. Wow. But I used to swim every day, and and again, that's a camaraderie. Uh, in the that, pool? At the pool, yeah. You see the you same people every you morning. You see the same people. You go at the same time. I yes. go to Planet, and I see these same people every morning. Are they getting and fitter? We, yeah, they're they're like motiv- they're such motivation for me because they're in good shape. And I we're can't ever get to those places time. anymore. Oh my god, no, it's fun. We don't even talk. We're just like you know, you wave and thumbs up and go about it. That's you awesome. Just see them working out. I, I'm see. a long time fan of the Y. So the you got why. a great Y there, and you're yeah. walking all these places, aren't you? You're not even. Uh, I walk to the Y in a borough, mm. and I love the airport Y because they have the pools. They have like three Airport pools. Road. There's Airport Road. Airport yeah. Road. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. That's all right. We used to. I yeah. used to go there too. Hello, Leslie. Hello, Kevin. Everyone loves you. Okay. Holla. They're just. What's up? Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. They're. It's like family. In fact, Leslie, who's one of the main instructors there, she must have four or four or five paintings in her Does house. Does she really? Yeah. I was going to ask if there was one in the Y. Oh, uh, that's yeah, a good. That would be. I nice. asked them. Do they have art in there? Um, Some of them they do murals more. Yeah, they, <clears throat> they do those canvas photographs of children. Look, I used to go to oh, the Berwyn right. Y. <laughs> I do the. I used to go to the Berwyn Y. They okay. had framed art there. Yes, but, well, yeah, that's Berwyn. Yeah, Berwyn. Yeah. Berwyn. That's also it was a nice Y. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't work out anymore. Get out of here. Um, I'm. It's like farm life workouts. Farm like life. just chopping wood and stuff. Chopping throwing wood? kids. On, right. Yeah, a lot of kids. So we toss them. But um, all right. Cloud series, Clouds. and then I will leave this with, uh, we, we will continue this at a paint night with David Katz that I will be attending. I'm sure I'm going Sue to. is going to make Sue, sure she's sure. there. 
couple people here in the audience it's, are shaking their heads. And on a Friday night, we're open late. That would be fun. And people come in. Okay. And you can ask the people coming in any strange question you want because it's not a <clears throat> typical gallery. It's no. not a shh, shh, be quiet gallery. It's, uh, it's David will try to fix people up or kind of gallery. Yeah. Yes. So no children. David will go there. <laughs> yes. Now what I there, there is, there. We, it's a surprise, we, we go there. but you do go there. And it's your gallery. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It, it's a unique I space. I feel like you had, didn't you have um, people playing music outside for First Friday, too? Oh, my too? God, these young kids, they love jazz. One is saxophone, two guitars. Yeah. It was so phenomenal. Yeah, the, he's a, I, the people here are just, they're just phenomenal. David just, knows how to have fun. I think that's the bottom line. And, and going to the gallery, you get a sense of that fun, and then, you know, you'll fall in love with a painting, you'll bring that home, then you get his heart. You know, it's... You're an awesome guy. Listen, there's this is we share this. I, love you. I think you, we sir. share this in the Old Testament. <laughs> no, and I, thank you. Sir. And yeah, listen, David, welcome. the name of this show is called Local Motives, oh. and all the all the wow. all the time going through this in the back of my head is the is this drumbeat? Why? 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 Like I want like it's so fun to learn about people and what they do, but as I've been hearing you talk this whole time through. There's something about you, and tell me if I got this right, and we share this in sort of the, the Jewish Christian tradition, the Old Testament, I, bl I believe, I can't remember exactly where, but it talks about showing hospitality to strangers and in so doing entertaining angels. And there's something about that with you that the why, the art is an expression that may, you, you, I think you'll do till the day that you die, mm -hmm. if you can hold that pen, pencil yes. like, your te like they said to do. Yeah. Um, but... Don't make me cry. But you, there, you love to entertain the stranger. Uh, the stranger, absolutely. Right? Yes. That's... To make them feel that, that they are loved, that they are okay, just like you want to feel. You want to feel loved. And it's, it's, it's a shame because of this epidemic uh, we're having. We cannot hug. But... Uh, so I'll you hug have, you right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank Seriously. You. Thank you. Thank you, Sue. Thank you, Ryan. I'm a uh, hugger. Uh, uh, we, I miss the hugs. Uh, you need the hugs. You need the hugs. Hugs won't kill you. But I... the Sneeze as well. Yeah. But it's easy to do in Chester County because the people here are full of love. Uh, they, I have to tell you that my neighbors are completely different than me. I have been... Com love I, it. It's, I am part of their family, I've never felt that in a neighborhood before. That is a blessing. Wow. So, uh, right in Westchester, where you are? I'm in Marshallton, yes. Uh, yes, in, in Westchester. Well, thank you for being thank such a, an amazing host. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having to, me. to people. Yes. Oh, okay. Right? Yes. In your gallery, in your paintings, in your life. Mm hmm. Thank you, Ron. That, that, that I, I can see clearly uh, motivates you and drives you to do what you do in a lot of ways. Thank you very much.